Hunter 34 here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a new rod I bought. I've been fishing with it twice now, but I bought it at Cabela's. It was just 40 bucks, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. So yeah, uh, yeah I'll pick up this camera here. It's a Berkeley Lightning Rod. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I got the seven foot. Um, yeah, I got my Abu Garcia Pro Max on it. That's like my baby. It's like a child, really. but not literally. Um, just let's go, I'm just gonna work my way up the rod. Talking about some features of this rod. Um, the thing I really like about this rod, um, it's it's a very good looking rod. Um, you got the Berkeley symbol in the back. And you've got two different types of cork right here, and a ring separating them, and it slims in the middle, and makes for a very comfortable grip for your hand, so it's not a problem to fish with at all. Um, thing I really like about um, the seat for the reel on this reel right here is there's not like a raised spot um, for you to slide the um, the butt of the reel into. It's that width all the way around, so you just screw it around. Um, see if you can see, um, just, just screw it right in, and you're ready to go fishing. All right, um, let's work our way up the rod. I got a lizard. Um, you see um, the multi modulus graphite. Um, that's just a very um, compact, um, multi um, composite, um, a lot of different um, designs of graphite in it makes it more powerful and more light so yeah um, we'll keep working our way up and we see the rod guides now rod guides are a big thing nowadays guys and as you can see these rod guides are pretty thin um, not really heavy duty or thick but I mean these are like um, they're like 22% 22% more efficient and like 55% lighter than standard um, the standard rod guides so and I mean they are um, very thin as you can see I got I hook my baits and my rod guides but just pushing this thing back and forth and just hooking it it doesn't hardly even move and much less doesn't even bend um, the rod guides are very um, they're very compact but very very durable on this rod um, they're very durable like I said um, for the price, this was a very good rod. I've heard a lot of good things about um, the Berkeley Lightning Rod. Um, unlike some of those more popular rods, guys, um, you hear, you know, big talking fishing rods. You hear, you know, the Ducket or Skeet Reese or what am I thinking of? Carrot Sticks things ow, things like that um, I mean you hear about those rods and they're so popular and I mean you look and some people will say oh yeah man that's an awesome rod some people say yeah man duck it's the way to go but you know carrot sticks and re skeet reese honeycomb they're just terrible um, and I mean you also hear I'm like you know but then again some people will say yeah man honeycomb's amazing skeet reese honeycomb um, carrot sticks are okay, but never go with a ducket. So you're like, well, which is it? Is it good or is it bad? And just with different people, it breaks, and some people it's good. So you're really going in there and wasting a hundred plus dollars, wasting a lot of money on a rod that, based on your research, you don't even know if it's a good rod. Whereas there's rods for a fraction of the price that you can look up reviews on, and you, I guarantee you, you will hardly ever if at all hear anything bad about and Berkeley Lightning Rods are one of those Berkeley Lightning Rods are incredible um, I got the medium heavy casting um, recommended lure for the uh, medium heavy is um, recommended a half ounce to an ounce and recommends I mean naturally it's going to recommend trilane in the 10 20 pound range um, but I mean, I, I mean, I might find myself putting, um, more than 20 pound on this and using lures that under half ounce or even over a full ounce. 
and I mean I'm sure this rod would still perform I mean there's baits I mean there's rods that recommend certain weights and tests of line and I go over and under that a lot and it still has no problem so don't feel bad if you're going over or under lure weight or recommended line strength um, for the medium heavy this was a good find it was like the only one on the rack this is the seven foot because I do a lot of flipping um, and I find myself fishing a lot of jigs in the winter um, soft plastics whereas though if I had to I would find myself if I had to run crankbait on this because I, I got pretty light line just like 12 14 pound on my Pro Max so yeah um, but I mean overall it's got this checkered design right here on the Berkeley emblem but it is a it's a sleek it's not so sophisticated it is a, just an excellent rod excellent design um actually I just bought a setup for him from a guy for thirty five dollars it's got a Shimano an older Shimano Chromica on it good looking reel on uh, one of the older um, Berkeley Lightning rods um, it's a lot older it's just got a half cork um, composite handle um, kind of same basic design that's a six foot six medium what that was but yeah guys if you've been hearing mixed reviews you know some people say it's good some people say it's bad um, just about those popular odds, you know, Abu Garcia Veritas, um, the Ducket, um, Skeet Reese, um, Carrot Sticks, and you're just like, was it a good rod or is it not? Am I wasting my money or is it going to break, you know? So, yeah, but if you're just looking for a cheap rod for a fraction of the price that you've heard nothing but good things about and is guaranteed to be 100% reliable rod. You gotta go with the Berkeley Lightning Rod. Um, comes in a, um, a good number of lengths, powers, actions, strengths, stuff like that. So yeah guys, Berkeley Lightning Rods are the way to go. You gotta check them out next time you're looking for a cheap rod. So yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. I will be trying to get that review on that Rapala bait for Metric Speedy. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make that yet. Um, but yeah, I will be making that soon. So just stay tuned, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, Bass under 34 here. Tight lines. Um, stay outdoors, and you have a God bless day.